Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and today I was working on a really neat project and I thought I'd share it with all of you guys. First of all, I'm gonna show you the completed part. What it is, is a bicycle license plate for my granddaughter, Kinley. And the reason this all started is because uh, years ago, I made these for my first two grandchildren because of their names being a little bit unusual. It's very hard to find one of these down at the beach where they have bicycle plates. So I made my own. And in this particular project, I'm gonna show you the whole process for everything that it took to make this to completion. Now, that being said, there's gonna be a few items you're going to need if you wanna do this yourself. You're gonna need a couple sets of parallels. You're gonna to need to make a small fixture to hold the part as you cut the outside. You're going to need somebody who can do powder coating or anodizing to put the color on it. And then of course, you're gonna need a pointed tool to do the engraving part at the very end. Uh, besides that, probably a rubber mallet uh, an edge finder, and of course a piece of raw stock, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna explain the whole process on how we did this, and we're gonna do it bit by bit in just a minute. So what do you think? Let's get started. So first of all, is I'm going to have to make a fixture like the one that I have here. And what I did in here is I just made it smaller than my plate was going to be to get the excess material out of the way, drilled and tapped two quarter 20 holes so that I'd have a place to mount the plate. Next thing what I'm going to have to do, my stock finished part is going to be six inches by three and a half inches. Once I've done that, I take my actual stock material and put it in the vise, and I'm gonna lock it down. I'm gonna find the center of that stock material. And when I do that, then I'm going to drill my two holes by using a center drill first, and then use my drill bit, which is gonna be about five thousandths over the size of my screws. So basically 255 thousandths diameter holes drilled through. Now that I've got my plate drilled, I'm gonna mount the fixture back into the vise, and then I've gotta find the center of the fixture itself. It's going to be different than the plate was. Now that I've got my fixture centered, I'm gonna mount my plate with the quarter 20 screws to the top of the fixture and I'm gonna bring up that part of my program where I actually cut the oval shape around it to bring it down to the actual finished dimensions of six inches by three and a half with a half inch radius around the corner. Now that that part of the process is completed, this is where I find my local guy that can do anodizing or powder coating or something to give me the color and the coating that I want the final product to have. Now that I've got that part back from the anodizer or the powder coater, I'm gonna remount it to my fixture plate. My center will still be the same as it was before, so I'm ready to go. Now when I pull up the program, you're gonna see that I've got all the engraving already set and I've got all of the tool path to make it look like a license plate all in my program. So the only thing I have left to do is use a pointed engraving tool or maybe you could use a center drill, something like that that I know I can engrave with and use that to complete the process by removing the anodizing or the power coating and showing the aluminum underneath. So whether you use a small ball nose end mill or a pointed tool, you're gonna to get the same process. And then once I'm done with that, when I pull it out, that's how I got to the completed part. Okay, so this completes the project. I hope you guys found that it was not only beneficial to learn how to do some simple things and turn them into a neat project. I also hope you'll probably think about maybe making one of these for yourself. As for my granddaughter, Lainey Jane, don't worry, I made one for you too. Poppy would never let you down. Now, I got a couple more things I would like to talk about before I finish here. And the first one would be the fact that I'm going to put together a contest for people to actually come in and be able to make one of these themselves and then send it to us. So I'll cover that in a second. But before I do, if you wanna use my program, I'm gonna put a link down at the bottom of this video where you can click on it, bring my program in and just make the appropriate changes for your state or the name of the person you're gonna do it for and everything else, okay? 
To cover that, it's pretty simple, but let me just give you an idea. So if I go to here where it says Kinley, you'll notice that the keyboard comes up, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of the numbers, or the letters, I should say, and I'm gonna put Laney's name in there, right? Followed by the abset key, which changes it, and I'm gonna close that. Now you'll notice that because I did that and it doesn't have as many letters, it's off center, okay? So that means I gotta come back up here to the x-axis and I gotta adjust the number, okay? I'm gonna put minus two inches in here. And as you can tell, I've done my homework, so that lines it up in the middle, okay? So you can do that for the same thing for California or whatever state you might wanna put in there. When you get done with that, I'm gonna give you two choices. First of all, you can use my template and make your own part, or you can just start from the ground up and program the entire thing. When you're done, we'd like you to send it to us, but we want you to do it via social media. So put it on social media and tag us, and then when we get it, we'll have a picture of it, see what you did, and in return, if we have your proper information, we will send you a Track Machine Tools t-shirt, complete with the pocket to hold your glasses or your prints or your ruler or your pen. So you're gonna really love having one of those, and again, there's not many of them out there, so you might as well do that. Okay, in closing, I wanna remind you that as all of our videos, we're glad that you guys are out there and you're watching us. And of course, we wanna know about that. So if you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps us a lot. Secondly, if you'd like to see the next video, just push the button over here and you'll be able to see the next one right away. And as of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, push the button over here and that'll allow you to subscribe and you'll get to see every video we make from here on out. As always, normally I would be tracking Pat, but today I am tracking Poppy, reminding you to keep on tracking.